Hello and welcome, I'm Fly Penguin, and this is the demo of Rogue Summoner, a turn-based tactics game kind of wrapped up in the shell of a Unity built roguelike, which is, is always gonna is always gonna draw my attention. Made by Gamecraft Studios. You see them down there, looks like they, they have a Discord. And I can relate to this game pretty strongly because uh, from what I understand it's a bit of a quarantine project from two Brazilian brothers. And uh, this is this is kind of their their um their efforts and what they've been spending their time on during the quarantine so i i, I can relate to that uh i am pleased to see that you will try to complete the labors of the rogue summoner each time you fail a dungeon you must try again from the start and it will not be the same you are certainly familiar with our craft but i beg you let me remind you of its most important points before you start Monster Essence. Before you can summon a monster, you must collect its essence. We summoners are no warriors. We invoke powerful monsters to fight in our stead. Move to the essence and then step through the door to go to the next room. You can move with the arrow keys with WASD or by clicking a destination. Okay, so we are this um, this wizard man down here. Um, looks like we have tile-based navigation and we can kind of wander from room to room and then I can go through this door to move on to the next room. A la, you know, any sort of dungeon crawler, binding of Isaac, that kind of thing. Uh, just with the, the tile-based movement as well. Combat happen in, happens in turns. Firstly, you set your turn by placing monsters, runes, potions. When you are ready, press play turn. When you do, the enemy monsters will take their turn. After them, your monsters will play. Each monster has a specific, has a specific behavior. Master it to use them effectively. Let's summon the monster you just acquired in the previous screen. Click on... Where's he at? Click on the monster icon in your loadout, and then place it right next to the enemy. Okay. Should I have placed it here instead? Can I move you? I can't move you. I think I've already placed you. Okay, so we're just gonna play. And I did that poorly. <laughs> that didn't turn out as expected. Because the enemies always play first, you can't just randomly place your summons. You will have to know their behaviors and predict how the battle will turn out. I, I was... I was uh, set up to fail. Remember that summoning costs mana points. I don't see... Oh, these are mana points. Uh, if you don't have enough mana points to make a move, you will fail. Makes sense? So this guy costs... Is that three? No, can be summoned for 10 MP. Okay. Uh, because I've been slaying Dracon for decades, I can help you out. Place another monster a bit further down and play another turn. Okay, so we'll put that guy there. Uh, I don't think I have enough mana to play another one. And it looks like this is my turn order over here. We have the blue one, which is mine, and then the red one, which is the enemy, the default. So he had to move to me and then attack, and then my guy kind of like default move towards him. I guess I don't get to control them. Uh, apparently it's a little bit more of a kind of a AI. They, they have certain rules that they follow, and then you have to, to place them in accordance with those rules. So... I will play my hatchling again. Do I know how many points he moves? How do I know he's going to reach me? I'm clicking, I don't see much. So let's try to like just put him uh let's let's do like five tiles away. Play turn. One, two, three. I, I have to feel like he put himself in position to die. That was <laughs> I do feel a little bit like I uh, I got away with something there. Tutorial tutorial level there. You have just leveled up, destroying enemy monsters are new experience points, and when you level up, you can upgrade certain abilities. Click the upgrade skills button and upgrade your max mana with the acquired skill points. The more mana you have, the more monsters you can summon. Understood, understood. So let's uh let's boost this mana. Now we're at 30, and then I think we'll we'll restore mana as we go kind of through the through the levels here. Soul points look to be something we're going to have to learn how to use as well. That's a lot of enemies. See that you have 20 mana points? That means you can only place up to two dragon hatchlings. You have to make good use of them. Okay, so we actually didn't regain any mana. If you place a summoned creature between two enemies, it may hit them both with one strike. Okay, remember you can use the number keys to choose a monster faster. Okay, I did not remember that. I don't know that I was told that. So there's a one. We'll put her there. Uh, wait, that was not right your monster will actually move up before attacking, and then it will only hit one enemy. Okay, okay, okay. So luckily you can remove a monster from the grid if it hasn't played a turn yet. Uh, we'll right click him. Now we can make him face right. So when playing a monster, rotate it by D, the right arrow, or Q and E. Okay, so if I, there we go. Okay, so I want you to march forward a few steps. Can I play another one? Should I be playing another one? I did. 
I did it anyway. I don't know if I was supposed to. So it looks like this guy will march three steps forward. This guy will march three steps forward. And then they'll attack. Am I, am I going to die? I think I'm going to die. No. One, two, attack. One, two, attack. So I don't know how to tell how far they're going to move. I think that's my only kind of like tutorial. Oh, it's on the it's on the unit. It says plus two move or two walking man. Okay, so never mind. So these guys are the same. Uh, I'm assuming just because I have one, but just by hovering over them, I wouldn't I wouldn't kind of immediately pick that up. So I'm going to let's put you one two no. I don't know where to put everybody. If I put them right there, they're gonna go one, two, and then explode. I'm gonna put myself out of harm's way. And then, what about one, two, explode? What about like, what about like one of these? Should I should I be trying to explode this? Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Uh, let's hit play, and just see how this kind of works its way out. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this guy. Uh, don't ask. All right, one, two, explode, one, two, explode. Oh, they're just setting me up. Yup, they they do. Okay, so you cannot blow up the uh, chest with a unit. I'll probably grab that after the game. Okay, so I did lose one. And now I think they're just going to auto battle, if I understand. I guess I could, um, I guess I could technically kind of move mine around, but I think I'm actually gonna come out ahead of this one. Yeah, okay. So for right now, it seems like, it's, it's almost like an auto battler. Um, but you're but you're kind of operating on this um, bomber bomber man style uh, combat. Nice summoning work. This room contains a potion chest. If you walk to it, you'll be rewarded one of many potions. Potion master. This seems to be your finest potion. Uh, whoever drinks it gets some health and stuff. Sweet. New monsters. There are lots of monsters in the world, and you will come across dozens of them in your adventures. You must learn each one's behavior carefully. When you defeat a new monster, its essence will drop, and you can add it to your lowdown. Oh, very cool. Using combined different creatures effectively to become the best summoner. Sweet. So, we can play one turn at a time, but if you're confident, you can choose to play the entire thing. Ah, that's what this is, and it looks like I gain more mana because of it. Yes. So, rushing all turns will reward you extra mana, so it may be very useful. I'll help you place the monsters so you can win the combat in one turn. Place a dragon hatchling on the bottom left. Okay. It will move up. Good. Now we will place the Draken that will destroy the two enemies in one hit. It must face right. It will be hit by the slime in its turn though. So use the health potion on your monster by clicking it and then on your monster. It will be able to take more damage before dying. In time, you will be able to create your own strategies to feed the most powerful monsters in the world. It, that's, that's kind of interesting. I, I didn't really expect them to be able to take hits. Should I be should I use the health potion now? Oh, he gained two health points. So this guy's gonna do one damage and then he'll live through it. And then I think he'll have enough to, let's we'll just see how it kind of plays out. So he, he took two points of damage um, and then now we'll kill the slime, we'll kill these guys. And then now it's just a matter of uh, being like an odd number away from him so that he can't he can't reach me or more than three tiles away i guess so let's go collect this slime sweet so we got a slime when evil matter decays slimes grow this one didn't develop much yet five mp so they're pretty cheap uh but it looks like they only do one damage each what if we uh what if we slime them have we thought about that how many how much do you move you can move three okay so if we put you like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, army of slimes. Bear, bear with me, army of slimes. Um, so these guys, this guy will go one, two, and explode. Um, one, two, and explode. And I'm thinking that these guys can like mob one of them. I don't know if it's gonna work that way, uh, but that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then with this dragon hatchling, maybe we can kind of pull off something where he's. One, two, three, three spaces away, and then I can attack. One, two, three. Yeah, let's let's try this, uh, and then we'll just we'll just rush it. We'll just go for it. Oh, I had not considered that possibility. Uh, that's not going to work at all. We are going to lose this round. Yep. All right, maybe my one dragon can pull it out. There's some sort of miracle situation here. I can see it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This actually might work because he's just far enough away uh, that he's going to keep getting the hits. No, not right here. That's the end of it. All right, try again, friend. Uh, so we shall... I think we put I think we put one of you guys down here. So one two. One two hit. I think one two hit. Now so I want to be outside of the range of this guy uh, with this unit. And then I also want to be one, two, three tiles away from the slime. One, two, three. One, two, three. The sl the slime has such a big range that we're actually kind of uh, it's kind of scary, so I'm wondering if we just play this one out uh, and then like see how it all reacts and then play another guy. I know we're going to miss the mana hit. One, two, three. This guy can kill him. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put him there. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't. he can't be hit by anything in the first turn at least. Um, so he'll have a reaction. Oh yeah, he should be good. Okay, very cool. So... This dragon's gonna die, unfortunately. I think. I should have rushed all turns, now that I think about it. Um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go forward and just pop me, uh, and then I'll move two, and then he'll move one, two, and then I'll kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should work. In theory. If I understand the game, this should work. One, two. One, two. Very cool. So your units will, it looks like your units will always move um, the amount of spaces away that they, that, like their maximum amount of spaces. Try opening both chests and see what happens. So we will get the mana potion and we will get the no item room potion and inventory potion. There is no room for this new potion, but notice that you got a mana potion and your mana is full. It would be much better to remove it from your inventory and make some room for the new potion. There are cases where it's preferable to destroy an item and make room in the inventory. To destroy the mana potion, right click and destroy it. Yes. Uh, haste. So what do these guys do? Are they locked? Are they locked slots? This must be an unlock slot. And then these are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. So... This potion makes whoever drinks it able to move further. I could see how that could be powerful. I'm going to go out the door. And now we have two slimes. From bottom to top, it shows the order in which monsters will play in the combat. You can hover the monster name in the turn order interface to see where it's located on the grid. Okay, so slime, dragon, dragon, slime. Your monsters will also appear there once you place them. You can alter the order of your monsters will play by clicking a dragon on their names. That's inch. That's... That's an interesting point because that means that we can kind of like alter their fate if we decide that we need to. Um, just a thought, it would be really, really nice. I know this game's in beta, by the way. Um, it'd be really, really nice if I could rotate him with a scroll wheel and then that would kind of alleviate the one-handed play style that I'm currently going for. Um, but you know, it's fine. Small things, small things. Uh, overall, really, uh, really kind of a cool concept for a game. And I, I mean, I know there's a lot of like tactics based games out there with a grid and you know setting units up and then just kind of letting them auto battle um, as well but to combine it with a I mean you can take anything and you can merge it with a roguelike right but to take this kind of style especially into it with a roguelike I think could be very interesting could lead to some weird uh, funky runs and so I'm, I'm kind of for it I'm for it I see the I see the appeal so we're gonna throw this guy there one two three I kind of just want to like put him here and see if he'll live are my units going first am i misunderstanding something no they're not so bottom to top understood uh this guy's probably dead because he's only gonna get one kill and then this guy's gonna hit him yeah wait why do their slimes do three damage and mine do one or yeah you only do one damage what what uh, you rushed all waves and your monsters died. If you fail, you'll have to start the journey from the start. Oh, so that makes this rush all turns in the um, in the actual mode. I mean, we're just in the tutorial, right? But that makes the start all turns super dangerous. So really should be thinking a little bit more carefully. One, two, three. Um, let's put you there. I don't know if that's... I still don't know if that's the best. Uh, this guy being able to run... One, two, three, away. One, two, three. I hope you would go there. That'd be fantastic. One, two, three. Huh. This is this is very weird because uh, 
let's let's just kind of honestly let's let them play and see where they kind of land um, and then that will that will maybe change our mind a little bit so I'm, I'm pretty certain he's dead uh, very certain he's dead I'm wondering if I should throw a guy like up here no over here and then maybe try to catch out these two on the on the return one, two, three. All right, this guy should be able to knock them both out. Cool, and so now we have one more turn. One, two, three, explode, and then one, two, explode. I should win this. Yes, all right, very cool. So we made it, uh, not the cleanest win, but we did we did make it through, and we got a rune. It costs five soul points. I think that's what these are. No, those are skill points. These are soul points. Costs five soul points and does four points of energy damage in a three by three area. Oh, so I think now we're going to be getting into spell casting and some things that we can do, yeah, on the board before we start. Summoners learned runic spells from the old sorcerers, and they're a great addition to our arsenal. Click on a rune icon from your loadout and then on a location to place it. Notice that they will appear in the turn order interface just like your summons, and they will only be cast in their turn. Okay. Uh, but rune spells consume your soul points located next to your mana. These only replenish when you level up, but luckily... You are almost there. Okay, so three by three area is pretty big, actually. Um, should I take out these three guys? Is that the is that the best way to just knock all of them out at once? It does four damage. Uh, I think that makes more sense. I think these slimes are honestly more dangerous than the uh, than the dragons are. So let's just put that down there. Um, it will be the last thing that happens, though. So I don't know if that means we should anticipate where they're going to be, or if we, um, or if we just hit play turns and then like nobody moves and then the explosion goes off. Let's let's try to kind of like fight over here before we mess with these guys. So let's do a one two hit. Let's just put let's just put someone there and then we'll play. Um, I don't know what these guys are gonna do. Hopefully he stays there. So he moved out of the range. He moved out of the range, and then he stayed. So we are going to only hit two um, with that with that move instead of kind of what we would have liked to have gotten out of it. That's fine. It looks like we can do this again. I thought it cost five soul points. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Should we not have gotten that? Uh, like, shouldn't we be out of mana? I don't know. Uh, we're going to hit these six, and then we'll we'll continue to put units over here so what i'm thinking is one two he's gonna kill me then i'll just i'll just take him out and let's put that guy there to counter this slime so many slimes wait do they gain damage per oh they gain damage per step that they move interesting that's that's kind of a cool mechanic i didn't know that they were doing that so ideally you want to um, have them kind of sprint across the map. We're already seeing some of the some of the kind of like creative design uh, features, and so that's kind of cool to include in your demo to show show off different enemies and show me kind of why I want to jump into this game. And so far, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges when it comes to like the you know like designs of stuff, you know, Unity textures and whatnot. But I mean, it's I get it. Um, definitely for being in a beta phase as well, it's it's really really clean. Um, so the labors involve dungeons that run deep to the earth. As you move down, the challenges will get harder and harder. I have summoned a powerful creature in the floor below to finish your warm-up before you go. Whenever you're ready, step into the platform. We also should probably upgrade, if we're going to be um, honest. I'm thinking that we can upgrade... Uh, no, we don't really want the rush bonus because we're, we're going to go to our last fight. Uh, maybe we just get some more mana so that whenever we get to this fight, we can just kind of make sure we have enough units. And right now, the slimes are, are looking pretty good, especially bang for your buck. Uh, one or five, rather, um, than the ten. Kind of a, a single target use, I guess. Morthgall, what the heck are you? 13 health points, 5 physical damage. Okay, so I'm glad that we applied these different guys. I think what I'm going to do... I got I got a plan. Now that I know they uh, increase in damage for every uh, step that they move, here's what I'm thinking. You give 
one of those to this guy. And then you, one, two, three, one, two. No, one, two, three, one, two. I think you, uh, I think you do one of these. And then you just let him go crazy. And then we just see where we end up. And I don't know if this guy keeps the moves throughout the whole... Oh, what? Oh, he healed. I think he healed his units. Please don't blow up. Oh, okay, you don't hurt your own your own guy. That's very nice. Uh, I will defend my units by using this bad boy. Oh, I don't have enough soul points. How could I forget? And so this guy healing everybody was a was kind of a kind of a downer, but I think we'll be okay. So one, the, pretty much everything we have is gonna die if I understand correctly. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I can like distract this guy by. Uh, sending a unit down here. One, two, three. Yeah, let's just let's just see what happens. Um, I think he's gonna kill him. He doesn't hurt me, and then he's gonna kill the slime. And then that's that's what I wanted is I want this guy to stay alive, but I don't think that's gonna matter. All right, thirteen health points spooks me a little bit, um, but I think he doesn't he doesn't do any damage to them whenever he does his like big magical healing uh, plus attack. So let's try to maybe space out some of these guys. I think we should be using a, yeah, I think I think we should be using a slime decay as well, um, just for saving the energy. So one, two, attack, we'll put you there, and then we'll just uh, play. All right, so not the best, uh, we are probably going to take a lot of damage, or not a lot of damage, we're probably going to lose one or both of these guys here in the future very, very soon. How much do you move? I don't know how much you move. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, what if we put you right there instead? I think we're, we're just completely banking on this guy, so hopefully you can... Oh, he can't even kill the slime! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we're done. Uh, not enough mana. All right, well, good luck. You got this. He's dead. All right, so this is interesting. This is a very cool, like, I'm really I'm really feeling the gameplay loop. And what's nice is we actually spawned with our soul points back. Uh, so we're going to be able to kind of start. Oh, yeah, you go there easily. One, two, maybe. No, I'll, I'm going to make you poof. I'm going to poof you. Um, I think we bring in the slime with the damage boost. Oh, we don't have the damage boost anymore. Okay, so we lost some stuff since the since we were like respawning, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put a dragon hatch like there, one, two, and then maybe he can kind of like protect himself. I don't really know what to do with everybody else. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, good. Everybody kind of moved to where they were. Although him increasing the health points of these really weak units is uh, that's kind of a thorn in my side. So one, two, three, four. I think we'll be okay. We could just start picking off these units, that's the best. I am worried about how much damage he does, but hopefully we won't have to actually worry about it. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then attack. I think, actually, I think we should be fine. Let's just wait. Yeah, oh no, he moved the wrong way. Well, not the wrong way, he moved the way he wanted to move, uh, just not the way we wanted him to move. So if we counter with like something on the other side. One, two, three, attack. Let's do like a, huh. This Since this guy moves so much, uh, that's who I'm kind of worried about the most. I would like to be able to kind of like snipe him from here. One, two, three, attack. But if he doesn't move this way, then I'm, I'm in a bad spot. He did not. Two, three one yeah see I only got one additional health or one additional damage and if he was standing right here I would have gotten like two or three so this is this is I, I see it I, I, I get my mind is bending around the way that it works um, just not well one two three whack all right cool so that's what I wanted so now we have 20 points to basically take out Mork Thal um, if you move three points you have a damage of four which is better than your damage right now. So let's let you just attack, and then we'll keep this guy down here. And then I say we just do it. Um, one, two, three, attack. Yeah, let's let's just do it. Attack, magic, 
One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. Awesome. We're going to get... I think we're going to win this. So we're going to win. One, two, three. We're basically banking on him staying where he is. Um, that should work. Oh, whoa. He, like, cursed us. I don't know what that was, but we won. So uh, that's all I need. You certainly showed your strength, friend. You may actually be able to complete the labors and become the rogue summoner. But if you don't, another summoner will certainly start the path to truly become rogue. And maybe he will have a better understanding of the creatures. I wish you the best of luck and adventures. You will need it. Shiren. I'm not going to say that, but I'm buyer. Main menu. All right, very cool. So I, I understand the appeal. Rogue Summoner, it's uh, currently on itch.io is where I downloaded the demo, but it's also able to be wishlisted on Steam. Uh, I, I kind of recommend it. It's pretty cool so far. It looks like a unique concept. I would like to kind of run through and play some of the, the different dungeons, but I am on a 25 minute video here. So I'm going to keep this short just for the sake of the YouTube overlords and the algorithm that they support. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more Rogue Summoner, let me know. This seems like a good game that would be uh, perfect for channel content. So uh, thank you very much. If you enjoy this, please leave a like. I will see you in the next one.